I'm now going to demonstrate the test for the collimation in azimuth and I've set the instrument up halfway between the wall and this peg which has a nail in it. I'm going to sight to that nail in face left and zero set the horizontal scale on the theodolite. I'll then rotate the theodolite through 180 degrees and place a mark on the wall. I'll then sight to, again to this nail in face right, zero set the instrument on the horizontal scale, rotate 180 degrees back to the wall and place another mark. The difference between those two marks is the error in the instrument and again if it's less than 10 millimetres then the error is acceptable. I'm now at the instrument facing the peg with the instrument in face left. I'll turn the instrument on and I'm now going to sight to the peg. I'm clamping the horizontal plane and using the slow motion tangent screw to accurately sight to the middle of the nail. I'm now going to zero set the instrument and then rotate 180 degrees to the wall. Staying in face left, clamping the instrument using the slow motion tangent screw to bring it to 180 degrees. Jason will now give me a vertical mark aligning with the vertical crosshair and I can now return to the peg, this time reading in face right. So again I'm going to clamp the instrument close to the nail, use the fine motion tangent screw to centre on it. Zero set the instrument, rotate, maintaining face right to the wall, clamping the instrument close to 180 degrees, using the fine motion tangent screw to bring it to 180. I'm sighting back to the wall and Jason's giving me another mark, again aligning with the vertical crosshair. The difference between those two marks is our error in collimation in azimuth. Again, 10 millimetres is an acceptable error. Anything over that and the instrument would need to go into the shop to be recalibrated.